Hello. I decided to sit down and take a little lunch break and I just wanted to chit chat with you guys for a second. But let's be real, I cannot sit down and eat and talk and who wants to hear me chew? So you are watching us, you know, switch our foods to plants and you probably have questions. You might even want to do this with us. So um, I think I found uh, the Esselton family two years ago, probably on my own heart journey, and I knew all about them. It wasn't until Carlos, uh, basically he refused to do any of the suggestions that the doctor wanted him to do as far as getting a heart catheter, plus the insurance denied it, and I believe that's God's plan. Um, so it wasn't until that moment happened that I was like, would you watch this with me? So I, we sat down to watch the kitchen reset. He was so angry. I know that you guys saw that in episode one. Um, and then he immediately started eating the way that he had read in the book, uh, prevent and reverse heart disease, um, by the Esselton family, Dr. Caldwell Esselton, Esselton, um, so I just wanted to encourage you guys, if you guys are sitting there like, you know what, Gail, I want to do this. Um, my best advice, my best advice, jump all in, take your trash can, throw away all your junk, read the labels. Like, Gail, seriously? Yeah, I'm serious. You guys, if it's in your kitchen, it's going to be in your mouth. I promise you, okay? If it's in your house, it's going to be in your mouth. I promise you. And that's why we went so dramatic by throwing everything away because my husband's going to die of a heart attack. And if this food stays in this house any longer, he's going to eat it. He knows he shouldn't, but he's going to. So I wanted to set him up for the best success. So I tell you guys the same thing. Now, you'll see on the videos if you're watching them, episodes one, two, three, four, and five have already aired. Um, I didn't start, you know, completely following plants, plant-based until episode five. So it took a little while. Why did it take a little while? I was convinced that plants were not going to fix me. They were not going to heal my body. I was convinced of that. I wanted a doctor to tell me why I felt the way that I felt. I wanted a doctor to fix me, you guys. So for the last two years, two and a half years, it's coming up on three years, I have been on a journey, right? I, I had a tumor in my heart and I got that removed. Um, six months later, I th they thought that I had an hernia, hernia on my belly button. So I had to go see a general surgeon because my belly button wouldn't stop bleeding. And then they said, well, you have a hernia up, you know, at your stomach and you also have GERD. So let's do Nelson fundamentation surgery. And I don't even know if I'm saying that right. So six months after heart surgery, you guys, I agreed to have those surgeries done. I didn't even know what it was, but I thought, okay, sure, go ahead and do it. And so they did. And I thought I was going to be good to go. Then I started having all the crazy heart problems again uh, and passing out and shakiness and all these things. And we were all thinking it was my heart. And then eventually Carlos pinpointed that it looked like I was losing potassium, which ended me up with a specialist kidney doctor. And he ended up saying, okay, are you eating a bunch of sugar? And I'm like, no, I don't sit around and eat cakes and cookies. That's what I thought. But there's carbs and sugars and everything that we eat, you guys. So he's like, well, then you probably have an insulinoma, which apparently runs in the same family as a myxoma. Um, so he sent me up with a referral to see an endocarniologist. And I know I posted all those videos. You can go watch them. And it, for the most part, she did not agree. She's like, you're, you're insulin resistant and pre-diabetes. Now I've been pre-diabetes forever. Um, so that was a hard pill to swallow. Um, and I just wanted a pill to fix me. I wanted a doctor to say, this is what's happening and we're going to fix this and you're going to be okay. Um, 
So my heart doctor ended up putting a loop recorder inside me so he could watch every single heartbeat that I have. That I have. And y'all, he did the most serious workup ever. And he said, uh, I've got nothing. He's like, what's going on with your heart is because of the surgery. And if we go in and mess with it, you're going to have to be on a um, defibrillator for the rest of your life. Um, and I don't want that. So if my life looks like this today, then I'm totally fine with that. Um, I don't want them to go in there and mess with anything else. So I am on medicine to control my heart rate because I do have inappropriate sinus tachycardia. So there's that. Um, but then everything else, he was like pointing it towards my kidney which the kidney doctor is pointing it towards an insulinoma, which is on your pancreas, which is or isn't, who knows, right? So Carlos, <laughs> a month in, you just need to switch your food. You just need to switch your food. Go plant-based with me, Gail. So I was eating breakfast with Rip's Big Bowl, but I was immediately crashing two hours later. And I didn't want to eat a stupid salad. I'm going to be really honest with you guys. That salad that you just saw, I didn't want to eat that. So I would go to Jimmy John's, Jimmy John's, or I would go to Chick-fil-A or whatever else. Like I didn't want, I didn't want to accept that the food that I was putting in my mouth was making me sick. I didn't want to accept that. So I, I would eat out of the house. And then dinner time would come around and I'm not going to spend money to eat out of the house. So my mom would ask me to go out and then we would get leftovers. So we would have that. So I wasn't following the plan, y'all. I had the food completely out of the house, which sucked. But um, it was helpful for Carlos. And then if I didn't go out to eat, then I would eat with him. But for lunch, y'all, I was like going to have some lunch meat. I was going to have some Cheez-Its. I was going to have you know, probably a, not a soda, but some sweet tea, y'all, sweet tea, yes, please. So all of that was happening. So I'm saying all that to say this to you guys. I would encourage you guys to start slowly introducing these things to yourself, but then really just jump all in. Like, don't even go slow, but you've got to kind of like work through all that mental crap that you're going to go through because you're going to have some mental baggage to go along for the ride. And if you don't work through all that, then this is just another diet. And this is not just another diet for us. I feel so good. I wish there was some restaurants that I could go to that wouldn't make me feel like crap and that we could eat on plan. <laughs> but um, I'm accepting the fact that I can cook these foods here at home and I can still be satisfied. And that is another thing, like food, makes me happy, right? And so I'm excited that food's making me happy this way too. So I just wanna encourage you guys that way. Another thing that I wanna say is that, um, you know, I never thought that I would have heart disease, right? So I had a tumor in my heart and it's not considered heart disease. Um, and so now Carlos has it. When I was in rehab, you guys, there must have been three people in my rehab that were there for the second time and one person was there for the third time, you guys. Why? Because they went and they got their heart stent done and nobody ever told them to change their food. So what happened? They continued to eat and their heart got clogged again. You guys, this is really, really sad. And I was just shocked that a something that they could put medically into your body and then you could go and clog it again. I never knew that that could happen. So here we are with Carlos and it's time for him to get a stent. And he's like, nope, I'm refusing it. I'm going to change my diet and I'm going to heal myself. So he's in the process of that. And I am on him like white on rice. And it wasn't until 30 days for him when he got his blood work and I saw his numbers going down that I was convinced that eating this way could heal my body. Okay. Now I don't know if, if I'm going to have cholesterol problems. My mom has cholesterol problems. I could definitely get cholesterol problems runs in the family, right? But you can do everything in your power to prevent it. You can prevent it, not turning on the genes. Eating crap is going to turn on the genes. That's going to cause you to have certain problems. So here's another thought that I had. I would rather be 
fat. You guys, those words came out of my mouth. I would rather be fat. I am so much happier sitting around eating the crap that I want to eat and just being fat. Like, I'm going to die anyways. What's Why not die being happy eating the crap that, that you like, right? I'm so embarrassed that I even said that. But that is what I said. And the other day, Carlos and I were going through a part of this journey is that we're getting out of debt and I have a million medical bills, a million, you guys. As they have gone off to collections and then collections, I don't pay them there and then another company buys them and then they become judgments and this is real story. Real story happening today. So I was going through these filing cabinets over here and I noticed that there was a bunch of medical stuff in there. Not that I didn't know that they weren't in there, but if you hide stuff, you're just going to be in denial that it's there. So I pulled them all out and we went through all of them. And Carlos said to me, you ready? What is more expensive? Is it more expensive? to go to doctors after doctors after doctors, procedures, surgery, etc. Or is it more expensive to eat the way that we are eating? And the answer is, it is more expensive to go to doctors, surgeries, procedures, test, medicine. It is more expensive to, to go that way. We are saving money by eating plants, plant-based whole food. You gotta get that in there, plant-based whole food. Um, and we're healing our body, you guys. We're feeling so much better. So I am only, gosh, like 50 days into this. I'm not counting the days because this is not a diet. Um, and my thoughts have always been that I want to help. I want to help. I want to help you guys because I know what it's like to be fat. I know what it's like to be stuck in a fat suit and, um, I know what it's like to try everything, you guys. The cool thing about this is that I haven't even started working out and I've already lost 20 pounds and I don't feel hungry. And if I do feel hungry, I can eat whatever I want. There's no counting calories. There's no counting carbs. Just eat, right? And eat until you're full. What? So um, we just started working out uh, about two weeks ago. So I want to get some muscles. I would, I would just encourage you guys to go check out the Esselton family. That's where I was getting to. Um, I really want to help you guys, but I'm not in a place to help you guys yet. I am only in a place to help myself and in return help Brianna and my husband. So I would encourage you guys to go check out the Esselton family. Go follow them on socials, Instagram, Facebook. Go check out their website. Get their books. Go to the meal planner website and start, you know, eating their foods. I would encourage you guys to, I don't know, just eat, sleep, and breathe everything the Esseltons have to, to share, you guys. Um, and if you're on the fence about all the stuff like I was, I would just encourage you to try it for seven days and see what happens and how you feel. Your poop's going to change. It's going to be amazing. Back on GERD. Let's talk about that for a second. So I got the colon thing done in the upper GI done and he put me on medicines right to fix the pain that I'm having down you know that pain right there that I've been having well you guys I've been drinking apple cider vinegar every single day eating this way and I have no more pain none and I didn't take the medicine none I have no pain none so there you go there's your answer and a couple times we've ate bad and I had rabbit poo poos just saying you eat like plant-based and you have like amazing poop. <laughs> In fact, like I pretty much poop after every single meal. What? That's insane, y'all. That's insane. So I can help you. I can give you some advice. I can share some of the stuff that I'm doing, but I'm not able to hold your hand yet until at least I've done this for a year. And I have saved my body, healed my body. Let's say that, say, healed my body. Okay. The one thing I bet you guys are wondering is, Gail, how do you feel? I feel so good. That's my only answer. Um, 
I remember that my body hurt. Like all I wanted to do was just lay around. And now I'm like trying to find reasons to go for a walk or for an example, I couldn't do the grocery shopping experience. I just couldn't do it. I needed Carlos to possibly be on standby in the car. And when I started to feel bad, he had to come take over the shopping experience because I couldn't complete it. Um, I can bend over and shave my legs. I'm excited about that. Um, I can grocery shop all by myself now, multiple times during the week. Um, what else? Something else. I'm going for walks. I'm not out of breath. Like cooking. I'm cooking in the kitchen. Like I've never done that before. <laughs> like spaghetti, a couple chicken things, right? You've seen me do that. But I'm like cooking every single meal every single meal, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, I'm in the kitchen and my body is not in any pain. And that's what I want to share with you guys. Like I don't feel swollen. I don't, my back's not hurting like from standing on my feet. Um, and I also think that your body just adapts and you get used to standing on your feet the more you're in the kitchen cooking. So I feel great. And you know what Carl said? Carl said, I haven't heard you say once that your body hurts. I haven't heard you complain once that something's wrong, like some weird sickness, some weird symptom. So plant-based whole food, you should try it. Just saying. Uh, Rip has a seven-day rescue plan. You can try that. It's um, Engine 2 seven-day rescue. Look it up. Google it. I wish you guys nothing but the best, and I'm here to cheer you on. Go plant strong! Yeah! Okay, bye. Oh, here we go. We got a cheerleader. Plant strong. Whoop, whoop. Plant strong. Whoop, whoop. Plant strong. Whoop, whoop. Yeah! This girl's going to be surfing this summer all on plants. Body by plants only. Yeah! Okay, bye, y'all. Now I get to finish eating my yummy salad.